hello everyone I literally just started thundering outside I really hope I can get through this video without too much distraction but if you hear thunder that's because it's thundering outside so today I'm going to be talking about my monthly favorites favorites from the month of June and also from before June because I haven't done a monthly favorites video in quite some time I want to start by talking about Scentbird this is a subscription service a perfume subscription service that they actually sent this to me for PR. They wanted me to mention it in a video and I said that I would, you know, assuming that I liked it, which I do. I really like it. So this is the container it comes in and basically how it works is every month you get a different scent and you can select your scent or I think you can have them send you random ones if you want. So you basically get to sample a perfume for a month and this is what it looks like. So on here it says I have the Toka Cleopatra and it just slides right back in there and then you just spray it by pushing down like that and then you can twist it down and that's it. Then you have it like this, you can toss this in your purse. It comes with this cute little pouch. Really, really adorable. I like the scent too. It's I'm getting used to it. I mean, sometimes I think I like it, sometimes I'm not sure, but that's kind of the whole point. Like you get a month's supply so you get to really decide if you like it or not. And I think this is just the cutest package ever. It has a little bird right there oh so cute so Scentbird is definitely one of my favorites this month I want to talk about a primer this is the Lorac light source three-in-one illuminating primer and I have the shade Dawn I do think that they had another shade that was more golden I think but this is the one that I have and I love this I have been really obsessed with illuminating primers in general lately but this one is so nice I love the packaging it's very like I don't know, kind of bougie, very chic. I like the packaging a lot. And the product is just really nice. Let me see if you can just get a little bit there and see. It has a definite, I mean, I'm looking at it now and it has almost this iridescence to it. Like it's so, you see that it's so glowy. You, you see what I mean? Now it looks pink. It's not pink at all. It's just the, the reflection that you're seeing and it's so pretty. I love it. So I put this all over my face as a primer and then I put my foundation over it. I'm wearing it today. It doesn't look crazy glowy. It doesn't look like, you know, pink on the skin or anything like that. But I do feel like it adds a element of dimension to the skin, a little bit of glowiness, especially in the summer when I'm also fighting oil and fighting you know sweat and stuff like that I'm I'm putting powder on my face even though I would rather not because I like my skin to look dewy I have to put that powder on to keep the oils at bay it's nice to have a little bit extra oomph um, in the glow department as far as a primer to kind of make your skin look still dewy and natural and healthy even though you're putting powder on you know what I mean so I've really been enjoying this quite a lot and it actually does say here that you can use it three different ways you can use it as a face primer under your makeup you can mix it with your foundation to add that glow or mix it with your moisturizer or you can apply it on top of your makeup almost like a liquid highlighter and that is the cool thing about this too is that it is versatile so I have been really loving this next I have a foundation I wanted to talk about this is the NYX control drop foundation I really really love this foundation I've been using it for quite a while I've had it for quite a while I use it in my fourth of July get ready with me and it's really expensive and you only you get less than half an ounce in here but I'm really enjoying this foundation and a little bit does go a really long way I feel like that makes it a little bit more worth it I do like usually one drop here one drop here and then one up here and I use a beauty blender or a beauty sponge of some sort I actually have one some that I'm going to be talking about in a second, um, I use sponges to really distribute that product evenly and I feel like a sponge does a really good job of distributing it and making a little bit go a long way. The shade I have is beige. It doesn't seem very beige, it seems a lot warmer. It's very warm as you can see but I like the shade match a lot. Another reason why I really like this foundation but I just feel like it has a really nice natural finish. It's settles into the skin very well and it doesn't look like you're wearing foundation it doesn't look cakey or powdery or really sink into lines or anything it almost is like a lotion in the way that it sits into the skin but it has a really nice coverage it's not completely full coverage but it's really I would say medium to medium full coverage like it's really good coverage I really have been enjoying this probably gonna repurchase it even though I'm not crazy about the price um, oh and if you didn't see my tutorial where I use this I'll show you how this works so it's literally a dropper and you just drop the foundation out onto your skin and then blend it right out. It's very liquidy, very, very liquidy, but 
What can I say? I really enjoy it. Next, I have to give a quick shout out to the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Stick. I talked about this in that tutorial as well, and I know I've told you guys that I love it before, but you guys, I seriously cannot stop using this. I use this every single day. The only time I can't use this is if I use a certain foundation that goes, either a powder foundation, which I don't really use anymore, but my Soap and Glory foundation is a liquid to powder foundation. And because that one sets to such a powdery finish, this doesn't blend out with that very well, so I can't use this product as much with that particular foundation. So if you use a powder foundation, a cream bronzer or a contour stick probably won't work. You know, kind of makes sense. Putting cream on powder doesn't usually work. But other than that, I've been using this every single day. I love it because it blends out. It's so easy to use. It's so user-friendly, so much more so than powder bronzer. I feel like powder bronzer is always a risk. I'm always afraid I'm going to put too much on, and if I do, like, does it look natural? Does it look, does it look like I have bronzer on? You know what I mean? One of the main areas that I use this for is my forehead. I like to have a little bit of kind of color to create dimension and stuff up there, but I don't want it to look like I have too much on. Sometimes I do, actually. Sometimes I'll put, like, a shimmery bronzer because I don't mind if I glow a little bit. But more often than not, I prefer to just have it look natural and I feel like this achieves that really well. And you can build it up and you can blend it out and like I said, very user friendly. I love that about it. And I do use it in my cheekbone area a little bit as well. I feel like also for the summer dewy, natural, glowy look, it complements that really well being a cream product. So yes, I love this. This is in the shade Where's Walnut. Next product I have to mention, have to give a shout out to, is the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean palette. I have to say the eyeshadow palette and the cheek palette are both favorites this month. Again, I cannot stop using them. And it's one of those ones that it took me a while to fall in love with this. This came with an eyeliner too. I have a full review on this. I can link below if you guys are interested, um, as I will with anything else here that I've mentioned that I have reviews on or tutorials or anything. So I started using this and I had trouble really figuring out what looks I could do and then all of a sudden I got in this stride with this palette where I fell in love with so many of the shades that now I find myself reaching for this palette almost every time I do a look with any other palette as well. This has the perfect neutral blending out shade, this right here, which is called Pirate's Chest. It is just this matte, basically my skin tone shade that I love for blending out the lower lash line, anywhere where you want to soften up the eyeshadow this shadow is perfect for me. It has an, a bunch of really nice mattes. This nice bones shade, this nice matey, matty, <laughs> matty shade. And then it has these really fun, creative, like this blue, this red, and this green. All of these and this gold one I actually found dupes for that I posted on my Instagram. So if you're interested in seeing those dupes, check me out on Instagram because I did find some single shadow dupes. But still, I love these combinations. I love this shade Shiver Me for the brow bone. That's another one that I reach for even when I'm using other palettes. I'll be like, oh, I need more of my brow bone and I'll reach for the Shiver Me. Now I'm not wearing this today because I'm actually wearing the Lorac Beauty and the Beast palette, which I have to force myself to use so that I can review that one. I had to put this one down, but I did not want to because I love this one so much. Really, every single shade in here is super fun, and there's so many more looks I keep thinking of that I'm like, oh, I want to try like this in the lid and this in the outer corner, and you know, I want to try all these different things, but I gotta use my other palettes too. So, this palette does come at a high price point, but I have to say that it is completely worth it. It really is, especially if you think you'll use these colors. Lorac's, the quality of Lorac's eyeshadows and face products are just out of this world, always on point. And these are the pro formula, so these are the same formula as their pro palettes, which are fantastic. And then this doesn't come with a cheek palette, but it comes with a compartment for the cheek palette. And this is the cheek palette here. And this one is just six products, three highlighters here, three face products here. I'm obsessed with this Lost Soul shade. This is like the perfect no blush blush shade. Like it doesn't look like you're wearing blush. Or for me at least, it doesn't look like I'm wearing blush but it adds just enough. I am wearing this with one other thing that I'll talk about in a second today, but I just love it. It's really nice, especially if you're going for more of a bold eye look to have this really nice neutral blush. Neutral blush. And then this one is the perfect sort of plummy. I feel like this will be really good in the fall too. And then this is their same formula as their permanent line blushes which and highlighters, which is really, really great. Another favorite from this palette, so I'd say Lost Soul is one of my absolute favorite shades and then the other one that I can't stop using is this highlighter down here called Star Reader. This is a beautiful gold, just the perfect gold highlighter. I can't 
I can't stop using it. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, it's just so pretty and warm and glowy and it's just the right amount of glow. It's not like glittery or too sparkly, but it really just brightens up the face and I love it on my skin tone. It looks so beautiful and they have quite a nice variety of shadow shades here too. You know, they're not all the same. They're very different. So just really, really love this. This comes with a mirror as well. Can't stop using it. That's how I know it's a monthly favorite when I cannot stop using it. Next I'll talk about another palette. This is the Face Palette, the Pretty Cheeky Face Palette by Sonia Kashuk. I believe this one is limited edition. So this is what it looks like and I've really been loving this. This is actually mostly what I'm wearing today. So I'm wearing this highlighter today, a little bit of this blush along with that other one that I showed you and then I'm wearing this bronzer over my cream bronzer that I showed you earlier as well. This is a very nice palette. I love how compact it is and I love the shade selection. Now this looks super bright but honestly it blends out so well that you don't have to be afraid of it and you can just take a little bit just touch your brush in there blend it out and it'll just be this beautiful very subtle warm summer sort of flush to your cheeks that looks so pretty and it doesn't look like oh she's wearing orange blush like it just looks natural and beautiful. I really love it. This bronzer is such a nice color. I think this will work really well for all skin tones. It's very neutral and on the warmer side, neutral enough that it will work for lighter skin tones and darker skin tones and you can blend it out or build it up however you want. This highlighter again is really, really pretty. It has not quite as much gold as the Lorac one I was talking about, more of a beige, but it does have a little hint of gold which I really like and I think that makes it again very versatile. I think they did a really great job with the color selection. These powders are so soft and blendable and just really great face powders like just I love them so much. Okay that was a bad swatch but they're really great. I definitely recommend this palette. It's really nice for travel. Such a cute design too so definitely recommend this one. Next I want to talk about some beauty sponges. These are the beauty sponges from Eco Tools. They are both dirty and currently damp because I did use them today. Um, they are so nice and the coolest thing about these is that they come in a set so you get two for the price of one basically and I think that is so cool because honestly like I wouldn't probably recommend this one by itself except that it comes with the set. This is the one that I use the most. This is the bigger one obviously and they're both the same shape. They're just one's bigger and one's smaller but this one is a lot softer so it's perfect for blending out that foundation and then it has this sort of rectangular end here. They both do and then it has this smaller flat whatever that shape is and then a bigger one of that same shape on this side and it's so it has so many different corners and edges and flat spaces and just so many different things that you can get into all the different cracks like I like to use actually the little one around my nose to blend out my foundation which I feel like I need to do right now and like like under the eyes I like this flat side for under the eyes and in the crevices like I said just everywhere it's really great for that this one is a little bit denser than this one like I can just tell right now this one takes a little more pressure to squish it so for foundation this is a little bit too much but it's nice for again concealer or pushing in the foundation in those like crease areas where it's kind of hard to reach you know so I really I just really love these I'm so glad that I got these and I'm so glad that other brands especially like affordable drugstore brands are coming out with these beauty sponges because it's wonderful they're wonderful tools I really enjoy them and I think it's great that we can get something that's not quite as expensive as the Beauty Blender. Even though I still love the Beauty Blender, I feel like it's nice to have cheaper options. Next is something that I've been meaning to film a review on. I think I might do that after this video because it looks like the thunderstorm has stopped or not turned into a storm yet. Um, <laughs> but that is these Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liners. These are so amazing. I'm so glad that I bought them and they were not expensive as Wet n Wild is not. You know, it's a very affordable and the quality is always, almost always there with Wet n Wild. It's just so great. But anyways, so I have five shades and you can see the shade range is really, I think it's a really nice range. I feel like there's just one for every shade that you would use and I am wearing, I believe this is the one that I'm wearing, Bare to Comment, with um, one of the Lorac lip glosses today and I love these. I love this red one on its own but also like under a red lipstick obviously but all of these look really pretty on their own. They're very very pigmented. I will swatch, let's see, I'll swatch this one. This is called Gone Burgundy. 
just like really light they're so creamy and so pigmented it's unreal I'm obsessed with these I'm pro I'm always gonna have these in my collection like I'm always gonna be buying these because they're so good and they twist up which is like I, I can't even I can't even put into words how much I appreciate it when a lip liner twists up or an eyeliner for that matter like the ColourPop ones I have stopped buying the ColourPop lip liners just because they don't twist up and they're so hard to sharpen it just ruins the experience for me I don't care how cheap they are if I can't sharpen it it's not worth it and these are cheaper than the ColourPop ones and they twist up so highly highly recommend these. the last beauty product I want to talk about is this NYX micellar water this was kind of a surprise for me when I purchased this I saw it at Target and I was like micellar water yeah I want to get into that I want to try that and I tried this and I really really like it it's barely scented I think it has a really light scent yeah, it doesn't even really have a scent, and I use this mostly for removing eye makeup, but I have used it for removing my entire face makeup when I'm really feeling lazy, and it works really well. It just feels really fresh, but it doesn't, like, it's not tingly, or any, it doesn't feel greasy at all in any way, which I really appreciate, and yeah, I've just been really enjoying this stuff, so I would definitely recommend this. I think it was like $10 for this bottle, but I've been using it for over a month, and I haven't, you know, I have only used this much, so I feel like it's going to last me quite a while. And I'm thinking that this is going to replace my Arbonne eye makeup remover, which I is way more expensive. It's like I'm going to probably keep this in my collection for a while because it's nice. It's going to be hard to travel with. That's the only downside. But if I really need to, I can pour some of this into a smaller bottle so I will survive. But yeah, love this. Next, I want to talk about some more lifestyle favorites. I just have a few, but I wanted to throw them in and see how it goes because I just had a few that I wanted to talk about this month. So first off, I have two YouTube channels that I wanted to mention that I have recently fallen head over heels in love with. The first one is Natalie Bennett's channel. She has her own personal channel where she talks about a little bit of beauty, a little bit of lifestyle, and a lot of family-related stuff. And then they also have a vlog channel, so I kind of am considering the two as one. I found her because she was she did a maternity clothing haul which I was searching for maternity clothing hauls because I'm pregnant she was pregnant she has a two-month-old now but I followed her through her journey she does weekly pregnancy updates or she did um, and I was watching every single one of those as I was going through my week you know consecutively with her and so I could look back and it was funny because like she got heartburn the same time I started getting heartburn and like all this stuff and it was so nice to have someone who's just open and honest that you can relate to and like I said she does family vlogs as well she has two twin boys which she also vlogged a lot of the process the pregnancy of that and then the raising of her twin boys and they're two and a half I believe so she's a very family oriented channel but really sweet girl and her children are absolutely adorable. I find it very inspiring. If you are a family oriented person, if you're at a family point in your life, she's very inspiring and sweet and she does do like she just did a capsule wardrobe video. She has get ready with me makeup looks as well but it's definitely more family oriented and I just find it really inspiring and just really fun to watch and sweet and stuff so I definitely recommend that. I will link her channels, both of her channels below. And then the second channel I have to recommend which a lot of you probably already know of but that is Mr. Kate. Now, it's funny because I've been following Mr. Kate. I've followed her blog and I've followed her on Snapchat but I never really knew what she did on YouTube until she did Tati's Beauty Room and then I went over to her channel and I watched the video and I was like oh my gosh this is amazing. What she does with her husband, they do interior design, they basically redesign people's rooms and they have one series where they redesign famous youtubers rooms and they have tons of youtubers like they did like I don't I can't even name all the youtubers they've done but like they did Patrick Starr did they do man I think she did Manny MUA I know she did Tati and they she's done like non-beauty youtubers too, like bigger youtubers that just need like an office space or a bedroom or whatever they have done so many and then they also have a series where they're redoing their own home it's like OMG we bought a house so you can see they try to DIY as much of this stuff, like as much of what needs to be done as they can. They really try to educate themselves and then by vlogging it, they're also educating us on just how to kind of DIY as much of your life as possible and I'm all about that because 
it can be cheaper, you know, but it's also nice to just have a hand in the way that your life is and kind of have that creative control over it. So I'm really loving that. And they also have a series where they go to just like regular people's homes and renovate their rooms and stuff like that too. So Mr. Kate's absolutely amazing. I highly recommend it. Check her out. I will again link her below. So fun, so creatively inspiring. Love it. Okay, the last two products, actually I guess I do have three because I have two books, one I just couldn't find. But the first book I want to talk about is The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. I am planning on doing a blog post. Anytime I finish a book, I'm like, yeah, I need to write a blog post on that. It'll happen someday. But this one was going viral a year or two ago, and at that point, I think, honestly, I was a little bit afraid to read it because I knew I needed it in my life, but I didn't want to admit it, and I wasn't ready to declutter. Now that I'm pregnant, I'm in full-blown nesting mode. That's why my background keeps changing every time I post a video. I feel like I'm in like a different spot because I am constantly cleaning and rearranging stuff, and like I took all the pictures down that were up here. And now this one's crooked. That's annoying. No, my camera's crooked. There we go. So I thought it was time that I picked this book up, and I feel like it's just. It's a lot better than I thought it would be. I kind of imagined that the author would be coming from kind of a snooty standpoint, like she would be coming at you as this perfect person who's always been tidy and always been organized and is trying to, you know, grace you with her wealth of knowledge on how she's been able to live such a perfect life. And that's not how it is at all. She talks a lot about her process and where she's come from and how she used to be really into like all those um, fancy storage systems. You know, she used to put a lot of time and effort and money into storing things and then she realized that really decluttering is where it's at. Decluttering is where you really find that fulfillment and she explains everything really well and she just touches on, I don't know, I just, I feel like it's a really great book and I don't feel like at any point is she like bullying or guilting or anything like that. It's just very uplifting and inspiring and of course any book like this you can always take what you want and leave what you don't, you know, and that's kind of what I'm doing, but oh my gosh, I've just really loved this book. I'm going to start reading it again because I love it and my nails match it. The last book I have is, it's by Barbara Corcoran, who is basically proclaimed as a self-made millionaire or billionaire or something. I don't know, but she's really funny and really cool, and I will show you the book on the screen, but she's very inspiring, and honestly, when I was in a funk, that book is what made me sort of pushed pushed me back into doing YouTube because I was like I don't know I was just I was in a funk and I wasn't feeling inspired and I was having trouble getting started even though I wanted to get back into it and reading her book really just gave me that kick of like kind of like well no one else is gonna do this but you you know if you want to do this you have to start right now because no one's gonna do it for you nothing is magically gonna fall into your lap unless you make it happen and she really did make it happen like she tells the whole story of building her real estate business totally not anything that I'd be interested in you know real estate and stuff like that but the way she tells the story the way the book is written is really really good so I highly recommend that if you're at all interested in like running your own business entrepreneurial type stuff highly recommend that book so good so the last thing I want to talk about is actually a food item and I don't know if I told you guys this or not, but this pregnancy has turned me from a salty girl to a sweet girl. I still like salty things occasionally, but I am much more drawn to sweet things. I have been super into the sweets lately. Trying to stay healthy though, I mean I let myself eat candy all the time, I'm not gonna lie. But one of the healthier versions or healthier sweet treats that I found is this Del Monte Fruit Refreshers. And I just get these at my local grocery store and basically what they are is this one is pineapple, but it's in passion fruit juice. So it's like one fruit combined with another flavor of a fruit. And they're called fruit refreshers, I think, because they're sweet with a little bit of sour as well. What does it say? The sparkle of pineapple, a luxurious splash of passion fruit flavored fruit water. Tantalizing combinations, wonderfully refreshing, not too sweet. And then I'm reading the ingredients, and it, the only sugar it has is pineapple sugar. So I'm not sure exactly what that means, but it's mostly all like pineapple water, pineapple juice, pineapple sugar, passion fruit juice, sorbic acid, citric acid. So it's really pretty much just fruit and fruit juice and a little bit of sugar. It's so delicious. I highly recommend these. They have a, at least one other flavor, and then they also have fruit mixers that is like more of like a sauce, like apple sauce with chunks of fruit in it. Those are really good too but these are my favorite. I really love these and they are really refreshing. So I just had to talk about that because I thought they were really cool. 
Okay, I guess it's, this video is really long. I hope that I can edit it down a little bit, but it's funny. I didn't think I had that many things to talk about, and the video is super long, so that's what happens, I guess. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I hope that you will give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed and that you have my notifications turned on so you don't miss any of my videos. And I would like to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys, and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye.